Real Madrid coach Carlo Ancelotti was not too concerned about his team's negative results against Erbe Leipzig on match day 6 of the 2022-2023 Champions League. In that match, Los Blancos narrowly lost with a final score of 2-3. The result certainly made Ancelotti annoyed. However, he prefers to learn from this minor outcome. Moreover he feels his team's game is not up to expectations. Without a doubt, sometimes you learn more from defeats than 10 wins in a row. This could happen. We didn't play as expected, Ancelotti was quoted as saying by Football España. I don't see a loss of attitude or intensity. This defeat will come, sooner or later. This result is painful, because it is. However, sometimes the pain is not as great as others. We still have a chance to take first place, said Ancelotti. Real Madrid lost 2-3 to Airbay Leipzig, Tuesday October 25, 2022 local time with an unsatisfactory performance. The fans are not satisfied, even the players on the field are also not satisfied with the performance of their own teammates. The defeat actually means nothing for Madrid's fate in the 2022-2023 Champions League. Madrid has certainly qualified from Group F however, Madrid still have to make sure they qualify as group winners or runners-up in the last game. However, the defeat opened the eyes of the Los Blancos squad wide about the weaknesses they have. Starting from the powerlessness to maintain the rhythm of the game without the main players, to the aggressiveness that is lost on the field. Real Madrid goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois admitted the team's performance was far from usual. He called all the players on the field as if they were sleeping. Courtois considers the performances shown by his colleagues on the field deserved to lose. Repeated mistakes made by Madrid players cost them three goals. We fell asleep on the pitch. We played without intensity or aggressiveness, and we had to pay for it, he said. The coach has told us what to do. But we keep repeating those mistakes. Madrid itself conceded two goals in the first 20 minutes. After that conceded again, 10 minutes before the game was over. Goal after goal that was created Courtois considered should not have happened. They scored with two corners. If we let them score the first goal then we shouldn't be able to let them do it again. Today we failed in many ways. Wrong pass, wrong control, just not a good game. Then they scored the third goal and they really killed us at the end of the game. The 2022 Yachin Trophy award-winning goalkeeper encouraged his teammates to get up from their sleep. This bad performance must be addressed immediately before spreading to the next matches. If you are a goalkeeper, you realize that things are not right in the game. You will notice in every duel, we didn't win it. It happened because of the lack of intensity. Therefore, we must wake up immediately, said Courtois. Real Madrid's young midfielder, Eduardo Camavinga, said his team had to learn a lesson after being defeated by Erbe Leipzig in the 2022-2023 Champions League. The 19-year-old also emphasized that Los Blancos had a difficult match. Eduardo Camavinga, who started the match, admitted that Real Madrid had a hard time trying to perform optimally. Because, Erbe Leipzig showed a very good attack intensity since the match started. It was a difficult game, Leipzig played with real intensity, said Eduardo Camavinga, quoted from Real Madrid's official website. Even so, Eduardo Camavinga felt that Real Madrid had learned a valuable lesson from the defeat. The French player also hopes that Los Blancos can quickly rise from these results. We have to learn from what happened today and keep going as before, continued Eduardo Camavinga. The highest level is about attitude, and if we don't show it we will lose the game like we had today. Even though they had to lose to Airbay Leipzig, Real Madrid still managed to make sure they qualified for the round of 16. In the last match, Los Blancos will face Celtic on Wednesday the 2nd of November 2022 at the Santiago Bernabeu to maintain its position as leader of the standings. Real Madrid star Luka Modric insists the 2022 World Cup in Qatar will be his last international tournament with Croatia. The 37-year-old helped his country to the final four years ago, even winning the golden ball for best player during the tournament in Russia. Modric's impressive performance that year, both with the national team and Los Blancos, was immediately rewarded with the Ballon d'Or. However, there are no signs of decline from the Croatian captain. 
Most recently, he played a key role in helping Madrid win La Liga and the Champions League last season. Now, the former Tottenham Hotspur star has confirmed he will lead his country for the last time at a major tournament in Qatar next month. I know I'm at a certain age and this is my last competition with the Croatian national team, Modric told FIFA. Modric will be 38 before Euro 2024 and 40 when the 2026 World Cup takes place. Therefore, it was only natural that he judged this to be the last tournament for him. Whereas previously, Modric admitted that he had not thought about retiring from the international stage when appearing in the UEFA Nations League, where they qualified for the top four. I haven't thought about that. I haven't made any decisions. I'm focused on the Nations League, Modric said at the time. We have a chance to qualify for the top four, then we have the World Cup and after that we will see. I will try to make the best decision. In that moment, I will speak with our coach, with people I trust. The midfielder made over 152 appearances for Croatia and scored 22 goals in the process.